until I can't no more. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is a Hi everyone, this is Protocol 36. With Spider-Man Miles Morales being released, there was something I've been wondering for a few weeks now, and that is if we're going to get any type of DLC for Spider-Man Miles Morales, whether it be story DLC or anything else. I do think there's a chance, even though we have no word on it, and in some like it's most likely working on Marvel Spider-Man 2 as we speak, I don't think they are completely done with Spider-Man Miles Morales, and they could still add a few things in the game. For example, new suits, and I can definitely see that being the case, especially when Marvel Spider-Man came out and some like, released tons and tons of suits after it was released like for example the Raimi suit Far From Home suits when the movie came out the Future Foundation and the Amazing Bagman suit and now with the latest three added suit from the remastered game the Amazing Spider-Man suit the Armored Advanced suit and the Arachnid Rider suit so I can still see Insomniac still adding a few suits for Spider-Man Miles Morales such as different types of Miles Morales suits from the comics which I would also love to see be added onto the game or even the What's Up Danger suit from the Into the Spider-Verse film which is a suit that a lot of people including myself wanted so if in summer it does include that eventually heck possibly the second anniversary of spider-man into the spider-verse that would be amazing but obviously the chance of that happening is possibly slim since there might be some kind of rights issue when it comes to that suit especially when it comes to the Jordans and etc. As far as I'm concerned, we don't really know what's going on with that, unless I'm assuming, which could be the case. Now, obviously, when it comes to the story, there are many other stories that Insomniac could develop and adapt from the Mars Morales comics, and they could even have a DLC story about Gwen Stacy introducing that character maybe not as spider gwen but maybe have her being another supporting character to mouse possibly even playing a role heck maybe a dlc story that delves into the multiverse we know that in some nice peter parker did have a multiverse adventure in spider geddon so who's to say that mouse wouldn't unless he is just you know too worried and tells him hey listen stay or something i don't know but it could be possible and it would definitely be interesting and make a lot of people including myself buy the dlcs so that not only do we have you know gwen stacy as spider gwen we also have different types of spider people and that would be awesome another type of story dlc i could definitely see in some like doing is a mr negative type of story since he was the one who was responsible for jefferson davis's death so i would love to see miles confront the man who was responsible for his father's death and there could be amazing tension between them two that even though miles is taking care of the feast shelter he probably still has a small type of hatred towards martin lee and if we get a mr negative dlc pack where Miles is facing him, I think a lot of people would at least be intrigued by this. As I do think that not having this interpretation of Miles Morales going up against this interpretation of Martin Lee would be a missed opportunity. Now, his fate is kind of unknown since Otto did hit him really hard, but I think it's safe to say that he is still alive since there's nothing to say that he's dead and that he was probably sent to jail after Silver Sabre and the others were able to save Peter. Or he possibly escaped. I mean, we're not too sure, but I really, really do hope that in some way, does keep him at least a little bit longer just so Mars is able to face the man who was responsible for his father's death. I can also definitely see a DLC pack that's centered around Kingpin since in one of the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man activities Mars does actually meet Kingpin even though not face to face of course they do meet each other and Kingpin does threaten Mars so to me it seems like this won't be the last time we'll see Kingpin and that there could be a DLC pack where Wilson Fisk does escape prison and he goes up against Mars. Now that would be sick not only because of the fact that Miles has also faced Kingpin in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse but also the fact that Insomniac were actually teasing the similar to how they did in the first game with the black cat side missions where you had to find the cat dolls to find Felicia obviously in the game you don't find her but this was obviously to set up the DLC where you actually do meet Felicia in the flesh so if this actually happens that would actually be really cool and another DLC pack could also be a Prowler DLC story where him and Miles are teaming up. Now, in my opinion, in one of the best moments from Spider-Man Miles Morales was when you get to team up with Aaron Davis and you're able to perform finishes together. That moment was absolutely fantastic. And if they do something like this again, I would love that. But I think this is probably one of the least likely things to happen. And that's because of the fact that right now, Prowler is in prison. Now, obviously he could escape since that's what 99.9% .9 of people do in the comics. But I think that the way he was talking to Miles, judging from the end of the game, it seemed like he was actually 
actually going to do his time after he gave himself up and to Simon Krieger. At the end of the day, anything is possible. However, since he's going to be in prison for about two years, I don't think we'll see Aaron Davis anytime soon unless the DLC takes place two years after the game, which I highly doubt. But that's if Insomniac even decides to do a DLC pack for Spider-Man Miles Morales to begin with. But I would love for something like this to happen. Maybe they go up against the remnants of Roxanne since we know that they're still out there. So it would be interesting and cool to see that. Or even they could go up against different types of gangs, different types of villains, which would also be awesome. Now, whether or not they include a DLC pack for Spider-Man Miles Morales or not, if they were going to do that, I think it's safe to say that they will probably be adding new suits into each pack to make it more worth it for other people to buy each pack. Since they did the same thing for Marvel Spider-Man 2, when after the game was released, they pretty much added three new suits in each DLC pack. So we pretty much got nine suits all together in 2018. And obviously the Raimi suit, which was layer added onto the game so i really hope that in some way does something like this however if they don't we're just gonna wait and see what type of post game content that they will deliver for spider-man Miles morales however what about you guys would you like to get some dlc for spider-man Miles morales and if so which type of dlcs would you like to see from insomniac let me know in the comments down below don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter if you enjoyed this video please like and want more subscribe to begin protocol 36